can't believe just that that's a real picture of downtown Jacksonville, not a postcard. All right, well, many animal shelters see pets bought as holiday gifts surrendered this time of the year as some new owners feel overwhelmed by the responsibility. But the Jackson Humane Society says it's not seeing an, an increase in animals turned in in this area, and that it's probably because of the services that the Humane Society offers for new pet parents. On your side's Don White takes a closer look. Let's say you got a cat or a dog for the holidays and you got the toys, you got the treats, but you may not have realized what's involved for caring with the new pet. Those here at the Jacksonville Humane Society say they can help. If you adopted a dog and it's chewing everything up and you're nervous and scared and you don't know what to do or you're thinking, oh my gosh, I'm really overwhelmed, I wasn't ready for this. Please reach out to us. That's because the Jacksonville Humane Society has the tools to help pet owners deal with issues. <laughs> Starting with behavioral experts who work at the shelter. One of the great tools that we have for the community is our free behavior hotline. We also have a really extensive behavior library on our website, so you don't have to sit there and try and Google or, you know, find the solution and be like, is this a reliable source? I don't know. The fourth resource is a pet food bank at the shelter for dogs and cats. We have a low cost veterinary clinic here on site and if the Jackson Humane Society isn't close to you and you're looking for something on your side of town, we'll help point you in the right direction. The goal, to keep tails wagging. Pets at their homes and not at the shelter. Anything we can do to keep pets and people together, keep them from being separated, support families, we want to do that. The shelter also offers virtual and in-person behavioral training classes for your pets, and the proceeds from those classes go back here to help homeless animals at the shelter. In the South Side, Dawn White, First Coast News on your side.